Citizens are given access to the National Assembly for the open week of the House of Representatives. An open parliament is the cornerstone of a thriving democracy. Speaker Tajuddin Abbas says it is a unique opportunity to engage directly with the public and promote accountability. By opening our doors, we invite scrutiny and dialogue, which are essential for improving governance and strengthening democratic institutions. To engendering a more inclusive and democratic legislative process. When citizens engage, they become active partners. President Tinubu's representative, secretary to the government of the Federation, George Akume, emphasizes that national challenges require greater citizens' engagement. We must engage through town hall meetings because not all citizens have the means to come to Abuja. Ministers and former presiding officers of the House could not agree less. If anybody has anything more efficient or effective, let us debate it. The necessity for engagement and talking with the people at all times is an absolute necessary ingredient for a healthy democratic journey. Because it gives people information of what is going on rather than hearing on the airwaves. And at forums like this, I suggest, Mr. Speaker, that nothing should be off limits. Over 65 percent of our people that are living below the poverty line. So standing here to make any excuses about our salaries, about our allowances, will not be entertained by Nigerians. One year's scorecard of the House was unveiled to the public, revealing the passage of 89 bills, including the Federal Audit Service Act Amendment Bill 2023, to strengthen financial oversight and transparency. For three days, the 10th House of Representatives will be open to citizens' scrutiny and interactions, and everyone expects that these interactions will touch the issues that touch the masses. From the National Assembly, Mitch.